Baik, uh, nama saya Sean Saya nak tahu nama awak Supaya senang nak masuk Minang nanti Apa? Tiba! Tak start lagi um, Contohlah Dah agak dah ni K-popers ni Hey yo, what's good guys? It's me, Sean Lee And I want to tell you guys something about pimples Who does not hate pimples, man? Everybody does But in order to beat your enemy, you gotta know who your enemies are. So today, T3 Malaysia and I are going out to challenge people on a challenge called T3 Pimple Challenge. We wanna see kalau pengetahuan am dia orang pasal pimple power ke tak. Let's go, man. Hello, excuse me, sorry, don't be scared. Ah, saya nak buat tu T3 Pimple Challenge dengan awak. Ah, uh, so I wanna ask you a few questions, alright? Wah, oh, damn cool, bro. Damn cool, damn cool, damn cool. Will eating spicy food cause acne? Yes or no? Yes. I guess yes. No. Yes. Yes. Tidak tidak. I don't think so. Kau suka makan makan makanan spicy apa? Um, contoh lah, uh, samyang. Samyang. Dah agak dah ni K-popers ni. <laughs> yes. yeah. Why? Why? Why do you think so? Like facial center. And the people there will uh, advise us not to eat spicy food. Sebab makanan pedas akan bercampur dengan makanan apa macam cili, belacan semua. So maksudnya ikan memang tak makan makanan pedas lah walaupun Melayu. Saya makan. Saya kuat pedas sebenarnya. Huh? Abi tak nampak pun acne kamu ke? Bila last you makan makanan pedas? Semalam. Semalam? Hmm. Tengok muka tak ada jerawat pun? Ah, uh, tapi I cuci muka lah. Because I like to eat spicy food and so far my skin is still okay. So, you know. Do you think acne affects boys and girls in the same way? No. Mungkin sama ke? Yes. Uh, yes. No. Yes. Definitely, because boys and girls are the same. I mean skin wise they are the same right so why not right Probably different sebab dia ikut skin orang tu kalau orang tu oily dia tak kisah laki perempuan ah situ mm, I don't think so if not why is there different products for men and women Wow coming from a guy though girls he single lah he very smart lah about skin care you should get him Is oily skin more prone to getting acne? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Senang lah sini. Oh yeah, definitely, man. Tak kalau dia pandai jaga muka dia. Oily skin is a reason because it blocks out your pores and now the toxins build up. You know, definitely. The oil will cover their face, so their their face cannot like breathe very normally. You know. How about you? Why 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 do you think so? Don't copy her answer, lah. Tell you. Same thought, you know. <laughs> Thought. Yeah, because we are siblings, man. So we have the same thought, lor. Huh? You guys, are, you guys are siblings. Yeah. Wow. You guys don't look alike, we. At all. Because my skin is oily, then I think because it's oily, then I normally get pimples. Hmm. Must be eating lor oily food, lah, huh? Yeah. I, I like fried chicken. Tapi kalau muka berminyak dia akan mudah dapat. Tapi kenapa dengan minyak tu? Kenapa kita masak makanan pun okay je? Sayur pun tak ada jerawat. It, itu lain Maksudnya berminyak tu Sebab kita kat luar Banyak kena debu Banyak kena Dengan cuaca lagi So dia akan Kena Spicy food Generally do not cause acne So don't worry You can have your laksa Your rendang Your sambal As long as you have it In moderation However, there are food that have been associated with the formation of acne or aggravating your acne condition such as high glycemic index food, food with high sugar content like soda, cakes, desserts as well as dairy products. Acne does not affect boys and girls in the same way. Typically girls reach puberty much earlier than boys around the age of 11 to 14. And in girls, severity of acne is cyclical, meaning it's worse just before their menses because of their high progesterone. Boys usually reach their puberty about 14 to 16 years of age. So they normally get their acne problems a bit later than girls. And it's not cyclical because they do not have menses. And usually the hormone that is responsible for their acne is testosterone. Nevertheless, both of them, boys and girls, 
do get acne during adolescence because of the fluctuations of hormones. Oily skin is more prone to acne. Let's just go through the process of how acne develops. So if you have oily skin, you have more oily substances on your skin that's been secreted by your oil glands, known as your sebaceous glands. And these oily substances then mixes with your dead skin cells, your skin debris, that soon clogs your pores. So when your pores are clogged, it is the optimum environment for bacteria to thrive and grow, therefore forming acne. However, if your skin is too dry and damaged, you may also cause acne. So the best is to keep your skin at its most healthy state by using the right skincare routine. So you need your gentle cleanser that's normally alcohol-free and fragrance-free. Then you need your toner that controls your oil on your skin. Don't forget your moisturizer. Choose a lightweight moisturizer and sunscreen. Lastly, make sure before you sleep, cleanse your face properly. Most importantly, choose the right products that is non-comedogenic and does not irritate your skin. So boys and girls, how many of these questions did you get right? Head on to T3 Malaysia's official website at t3pimplesolution.com and join this Professor Pimple Challenge. You know why? Because you stand a chance to win 10,000 ringgit of prizes if you get the answers right. So guys, don't forget to like and follow T3 Malaysia's Facebook and Instagram page. Till next time, I'll see you guys. But takkan follow macam tu je guys. Kalau korang follow dia orang, korang dapat info pasal cara nak jaga jerawat ke, produk baru yang keluar ke. You want to stay tuned for that kind of stuff, man. Good things coming your way, guys. Till next time. Bye-bye.